This short film clip has been prepared to help lead you through the Reams Biological Theory of Ionization analysis of urine and saliva. Accurate analysis is the very heart and soul of the RBTI formula. We're going to be going through how to measure the urine carbohydrate expressed as bricks, the urine pH, a simple measure, the saliva pH, the cellular debris, which sometimes is called albumin, but it means the cloudiness of the urine, how many cells are being washed out of the body, dead cells. We'll also measure the urine conductivity, which tells us the blood conductivity, and we'll be cu very curious about the nitrate nitrogen and ammonical nitrogen in the urine. Stated very simply, if you don't understand and practice good lab techniques, you are a danger to yourself and others if you're trying to run these analyses. Don't do it. Hire someone else to do it for you. As in any analysis, sloppy techniques leads to sloppy results. You must have your equipment cleaned and laid out properly and in good order so that you can go through your steps one, two, three, four, right down the line. Before you even start running the analysis, you have to fill out your card so that you have all the details on your uh, client and so that you can keep track of what you're doing. The first part of the test or analysis is to measure the bricks of the urine. Here's a few refractometers. Which kind you use doesn't matter as long as it's a, a good one, a high quality one. Urine bricks testing is about as easy as anything could be. You're merely going to lay your sample a drop on your prism, flip it down. Then you're going to look through the view screen, view eyepiece we might call it. And finally we're going to record what we see exactly, precisely, down to the nearest two-tenths of a bricks point. It's easy, it's reproductible, it's repeatable, it's one of the simplest tests you'll ever run. Here Michael Olsta is adjusting a small adjusting screw on his refractometer to make sure it's reading zero with distilled water. That is considered the calibration point. The actual bricks reading is performed exactly as you did the calibration, except this time you're trying to find where it reads on the little scale. Perfect, of course, is 1.5, but you're looking to find exactly what it is.